pretty memorable moment there. There we go. All right, folks. As always, let us know if you can hear us. <laughs> All right. Sorry to frighten you, BB Gaming. Hey guys. Let's get rid of that overlay right over MJ's face. Or not. If you can put it over like my what's left of my hair, that'd be even perfect. Let's see if this works. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that comment from Ibsen. <laughs> How are you all doing? James Goblin. Hi, Odell Dick. Hey, Odell Dick. Ready for another war game session? <laughs> we should uh, record that real fast. Oh, good plan. So we uh, actually had a late dinner, so we're, the guy, the rest of the guys will be in here any moment. So we didn't uh, get our delicious uh, non-listeria infested Chipotle uh, until uh, late. It's a man and woman cave. Mm -hmm. Here come the day. here come the delvers. Yay! I shall take my customary seat. All right. Well, <laughs> uh, do you want to do a disclaimer like you did last time? Yeah, as always. Uh, so, just as we said last time, folks, this is something that we've been doing in our spare time. Max has put in the vast majority, you know, of the hard work on this. Um, we may or may not do something with this down the road. We certainly hope to do something with it, but for now, it's a fun exercise. Stuff from it will end up in the depths, I am sure, and things um, from the depths will continue to uh, end up in this game as well. Uh, if things continue to go well with uh, testing, we're going to invite uh, some of our backers to come join us in sessions, which will be fun. Uh, we certainly will want to get feedback from people other than the studio. And, yeah, you know, that's it. So, uh Let's uh, go back to the depths. <laughs> and of course, these various pieces are trademarked by their respective owners. Oh, yeah, right. They have legitimately yeah, purchased. Got that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these have all been bought, and they belong to everyone that they belong to, and this is not going to be what we're going to use. You know, if we make the game, this is not what we're going to use in the game, because that would be bad. And we don't want to get sued. <laughs> all right. Well said. On that note, or perhaps not on that note, Corey. <laughs> Corey the Crusher, the Destroyer of Souls. Corey used some uh, Depths Enhanced cards to wipe out a tile, pretty much, uh, of monsters. And I believe uh, Corey was playing the Hamadryad Mage, and he has ended up over here, all by his lonesome, <laughs> in the Depths. Uh, ben was playing the Golem Archer, and he is 
is right over there. We're all in this one little pile of happiness. Yes. Battling a uh, soul remaining uh, have, or somewhat damaged uh, beast. Did we actually damage that one? Yes, yeah. it has 7 HP yeah. remaining. Uh, Dave was playing Yodnar Fighter. Uh, taking the or ready to take the heavy hits with all of his armor stacked up, and MJ is a Lucrapon healer. Yep. So he is keeping everyone alive, hopefully. Why <laughs> did I use the dead man walking the last time? Ah, uh, yes, that's prepped, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is prepped and ready to uh -huh. destroy. Uh -huh. <laughs> so what that do? Double the damage on it. For the oh next yeah, attack. that's right. Yeah. For the next mm -hmm. attack. Next time they take damage, it will be double. Exactly. From anyone, not just me. I believe, Ben, it's your turn. Yes, yes. Ben. Yeah, that's do important. something, Ben. <laughs> well, if I had a bunch of things that would do damage, it would be really good. Uh, it's your bonus turn, so you don't have any, you have any more cards yet. Yeah. It's all right. Because this doesn't only last a round, does it? What? what you say? Oh, the dead man walking. No. Actually, no. that gets placed uh, over here. And it will oh, okay. work on any beast or the next beast attack. The next beast that was attacked yes. will be this beast. I thought it said the uh, enemy's deck in range. Enemy's deck. Okay. So it has to be in range, which would be only that, that beast. Range. Yep. Right. right over here. There you go. So, so three actions for Ben. So we have three actions for it. So we will have to punch it twice and then do a follow up strike. Uh, we damaged it, then... Well, use your most powerful one. Yeah, you want to use your most powerful one first, because... But it's a follow-up strike. Oh. Which means that I have to follow up something that did damage. <laughs> oh. Oh, well. Because that's what the camera's a little fuzzy, so... I'll do the magic hand. Oh, the magic oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, magic hand. I don't hand. think you quite got it. You didn't get it. You didn't get it, Brian. Didn't get it. You were no. just below the camera. Yeah. Oh, I did. Oh, right, yeah. There you go. Did it work? No, no. Ryan's still kind of. <laughs> well, I need, I, we need Ma a Max's magic hand. Let's try this. Let's try this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's try this. There it goes. Yep. Yay. There it goes. Thanks. I'm going to make sure I stick my face in front of it. Put a little bit on there. Still working? <laughs> Looks like it. Yeah, okay. let's go. Mm -hmm. Phew. Words are wondering for you. Okay, so your first punch will do. Double damage, so two. Uh -huh. Then another one from the second punch, yeah, and then a follow-up strike does what? Two more. So he's down to one. Two. Uh oh. Two <laughs> so three damage from punches plus two, so. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> I think we just might have our first monster counterattack in yeah, a yeah, serious yeah. way, <laughs> because that was actually the end of the round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So, you'll be first next round. And uh, need one of these helpful round order sheets to remind me. So uh, it's time to resolve the monster counterattack. So you guys are all in the space yep. with a beast. So Dave is going to get an attack card. MJ is going to get an attack card. Oh, you're not in there because you're off by yourself. Yep. <laughs> so what happens to you? So ripping and tearing. Beast type, range one. In a frenzy of bloodlust, the beast rips and tears at you, dealing two damage to you and two damage to allies in your space. Oh! <laughs> you may choose to take their damage upon yourself instead. Oh, well, you are the fighter. You should do that and armor them. I'll try. Can I armor them separately or do yes. I have to armor Okay, well, yeah. I'll Those are separate instances of attack. So, first one for two damage is block two damage and then train for any armor. Nice. Second one. Block one damage, and you may trash a card from discard discard with uh, armor. Okay, so I don't really. Well, let's see. Do I have a blood one or a salt one or anything? No. Thinning out your deck if it's Achieve less one. than optimal cards. <laughs> All right, and then I take one damage. Let's do eleven. And block all negative effects except damage. <laughs> <laughs> Was my damage. Okay. What happened to MJ? The beast slams its hulking body into you for three damage and one additional damage if you're in its face. 
So fun. You are. Which I am. So but I think you have an armor. armor which I have armor. armor. Yep, I have armor. Block one damage and keep until the end of round. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, three. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. Uh, Mr. Beast opens wide, fangs dripping that grabs you for three damage before tossing you one space away. Oh, this is going to oh, be fun. God. You also have armor, though. I do have armor, so we're, we're going to try that. Block one damage. If you have other armor tokens, flip over and shuffle. I do not. <laughs> okay, so how many different uh, paths are there out of this room? One, two, three, four, five. All right, so in that order, oh, not hope for not four. Yes. <laughs> in that order, in that order. Be your, your life is in your hand. And you roll a six. So we roll. Oh. <laughs> one option you didn't have. <laughs> Do you have a D5? Three. Three. All right, that's okay. <laughs> okay. So Into corruption. corruption. Yay! Now that corruption uh, causing effect is destroyed. It's a one time corruptor. And then I get a. Yeah. But you are going to get an A ranked corruption. So that's the amazing. least dangerous kind, but it still could be bad. Uh, all right. And that's all the attacks. So time to get more Banes. As the merchant's whisper track advances. So here you go. The merchant corrupts you, yeah, whispering in your ear. Oh, goody. <laughs> well, it's only when it only happens when you enter the space. Wait, but I need to kill beasts. <laughs> <laughs> well, do it from range. I'm not ever, I'm on the first time I'm on the fighter. No shoot things. I punch Throw with the sword. things. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't such attacks. Um, <laughs> Anyhow, uh, and now it's time for everybody to discard up to three cards and draw until you have six. Oh, the attack card. Or no, blood card. Blood card. So I give them back? Or nope, you keep, uh, you keep those. They go into your discard pile. Oh, that's right. And you will draw them again later. Yeah, that's right. I forget. That goes there. This goes to you. Yes. And I take three cards. So yes, it's the start of the round, so everybody discards up to three and then draws until you have six in hand. So Dave, you get your three actions first. Okay. Um what's it down to? Two? It's down to two, yeah. yeah okay. Maybe you should, you should collect the thing. The, the thing. I have to wait till this. The dead. monster has to be dead first. Yes. Um, but I may be able to take care of this. So these other ones range out, yeah? Yep. So I'm just trying to get them all. Remember that you might want to save some cards for the end of the round as well. Yeah, you have to do two turns on those cards, so you'll get another attack. I feel like Dave's plotting something here. Mm -hmm. I am. I'm just trying to figure out like, the best way to get there. Fortunately, I don't think I can because I don't have enough blood in my hand. But that's just a. Three health cube, right? Uh, not yes. sure who you're pointing at. Um, these are. The insectoid is a three. Yeah, they... Abomination. Abomination? <laughs> okay. um, actually, no, they're all otherworlders because that was the. Oh, they were transformed. Uh, that was the thing for this room. They were transformed. Right, right. Into okay, so, so they have. A lot of HP. Much more than three. Yes, yeah, they yeah, have seven. seven. So. <laughs> I can do this. Okay. Um, I'm going to start by doing prepared strike. Deal three damage to an enemy in range. So when you have an armor token, you may discard one to gain one range and deal one plus one damage. So I'm going to discard one of my armor tokens to increase my range by one to deal damage four damage to that guy. All right. Which will cost me one blood. Ah. Uh, but I'm going to play a blood three. Because I'm about to do Shadow Blade, which costs two blood, which repeats a um, 
This card copies the effects of the type of weapon card I've played this turn. So I will do this again to deal another. All right. Four damage to kill. It will give me a blood card, right? It will. It will give you a blood too because it's this. It's Into an my hand. Otherworld monster. And then unfortunately. Don't forget you're in a space with a monster if you want to kill it. Yeah. I got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> would, would be difficult for us not to manage two damage in this in this composition. God, I wish I'd had one range on it. <laughs> um, Although, Dave, if you kill the monster there, then all three of you will get a blood times three. Well, yes, they've all marked it at this point. Mm -hmm. Well, Dave has it, yes. I can go next time. I'm sorry, I didn't actually, oh. I didn't actually attack that one last time. Ah. <sighs> I really want to save this card. Put a tombstone token on that other world. All right, so thing. it's not optimal, but I'm going to go ahead and, I mean, I really should have moved, but it's fine. I'll do Desperate Tactics, which deals, you cost zero uh, blood, utility increase the range of this card, based on every health I'm missing. I'm missing a lot of health, but it doesn't really matter. Um, Deal two damage to an enemy in range. An ally adjacent to that enemy's space may move into it. I'm just going to do it to the guy in front of our space to kill him. So you guys don't have to worry about it. Okay, yeah. everybody gets a blood uh, three. That means that, that or that means that Ben could move in there if he wants to. All right, Ben can move back. Is there any reason that I want to do that? Well, if you want to go attack these guys, but or if you want to move in that direction. Ah, blood three. <laughs> Yay! Corey gets not me. No, Corey doesn't get one. Mm -hmm. Corey, it's not Corey, oh, you grabbed it yourself. Okay. Thank you. You're right. I just got the two from killing those two beasts in there. All right. Uh, and now that this thing is slain, you can activate the Mystic Forge and gain Death's Card tokens. So. Everybody, what? Hmm? Uh, and Dave can collect that, yes, mm -hmm. if he wants. There you go. You probably need that. Have, now that you have your exploration token, you can escape the depths. Now, for opening it, you gain three tokens. And everybody else will get one. There you go. So, you can spend these when it is not your turn to draw six cards from the Depths action deck and choose one of them. How much does it cost? One token. Okay. So, Dave's turn just ended, and Dave's turn is about to start. Are they useful for anything else at this point? The, to the sort of treasure tokens? Yeah. No, they are spent to gain these cards. Okay. Did you already draw six off this? Is that your goal? Mm -hmm. okay. Anyone can look at them, but you can only uh, gain one when it is not your turn. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, we already got one of those guys down, so, yeah. You know how the ritual cards work? Remind me. Uh, so the ritual cards are cards, they have a range, and anyone in that ritual range can contribute to the yep. cost of the card. Yep. So, yeah, you knew. Yep. But now everyone else knows. <laughs> All right, just, if there were still three things there, I would go, hmm. But we've only got two things there, and I don't know if I want to waste. How long does this last? Uh, I can't it doesn't say from here. Range two, and it's got six blood cost. Uh, is it a one-time use thing, or is it? What does it say? It what does it what's say? the title of the card? Uh, place this card in front of you. Count to them all. Six. Well, I place this card in front of you. When you and you and allies in range gain blood from a moth, they may place the card here. Those cards may be spent. If it. it as if in the hands of you or allies in range. Uh, 
once it gains uh, blood tokens and once those are go away again, that's when it's discarded. So you can't continue to add blood tokens? Uh, not permanently. Okay. Yeah, see, that's why we want Because you could, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was thinking, because especially as a six blood cost, that's a pretty significant blood cost. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about but it. it's a it's ritual, which means that anybody that's nearby can contribute to that right. as well. Yeah. And I don't know if we want to waste it on those two bad guys, mm -hmm. right? What do you think? There's also a uh, item in there that we could get. Do you still get things for killing hearts? Yes. Yes, you do. So if you wanted to so kill that. Depending on the answer to my question on this card, it might not be, I would probably just kill them on my bonus turn. Okay. <laughs> so does this go to my hand? Does this go to my discard pile? Where does this go? If you buy the card. Uh, the treasure cards go on top of your deck. Okay. So then I can't discard. Do okay. Well, why not? Armor. Okay, so. Hey, do I put them on your deck? What's that? I bought one. Do I put another one in here or no? Yeah, because. Oh, yes, yes. Put another one in the stack. Yes. I wasn't sure what this stack was. <laughs> okay, well, I uh, since it's me, I will do a bandage. Boring. Mm -hmm. But one point. To 12. Uh, and why not? Let's go for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just pay for it yourself? <laughs> oh, yeah, but now can people add to it? Yes. Anybody? That's what I was thinking. So this is going to give us. It one. works both ways. Yeah. So this is going to give us, I thought, one big ass amount of blood to power any of our spells, correct? Because it says my allies may use it, not just me. Yep. So I figure we put in blood, and then whatever we need to take out these two bad guys, we have. Unless I'm misreading it. Or I'm misreading it. Okay, so place a card in front of you when you you and your allies in range gain blood from a mark. And I place those cards here. Those cards may be spent. Okay, so basically you just put blood into this thing as we as we kill things. Right. And spend it as we need to. Yep. It's uh, it's basically a, a blood bank. Exactly. <laughs> so, blood bank, my job done. Okay. <laughs> you do have one more action. Mm. You want to move? In there? <laughs> <laughs> There's five different ways that you can move. Yeah. What kind of corruption does corruption? Have? I've got an A. <laughs> you can come this way. I could come that way. Sure, I'll keep Ben company. Yay. I'm actually supposed to have one corruption, but I think it got lost somewhere. So. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> might, have, might have blown away somewhere in the yeah. intervening uh, time. <laughs> Some nice, Sorry. heavy, thick counters would be good for that. Yes. Mm. All right. Uh, so I am going to move into this space to get the treasure and the exploration token. Yay. And there's monsters in there, are there? I killed them. Oh, all no, he killed them all. Time. Yes, mm. I killed them. And then you open up um, Yes, but I also get poison because we added poison to that ring. Uh, so, Indeed. what are the poison cards? They are. They were right in front of me. Oh, okay. they were right in front of me. <laughs> Success. Yeah. So, poison is going to get shuffled into my deck, and then whenever nice. I draw it, I take one damage and draw another card. Right. So, it will just slowly eat away at me. As the game continues. So now that it's not your turn, you can spend your token to gain a death card if you wish. Yeah, yeah true. Just stick it in the pile yeah. over here. Do I pick and I'm going to move top or any any of those six? Okay. No, get the treasure before you leave. Oh, I can. I got the treasure too. I just need to get the tokens from Max. Oh. Treasure tokens. Uh, here you go. Okay. So I get. Three and everybody else gets one. We were so helpful. <laughs> <laughs> be so far away. Yes. Good job, guys. Well, as you uh, uh, as you conquer and use these forges, it benefits. Yes. However, the raiders. Um, I the also raiders. because of the poison, I get yeah. to trash one of my blood ones and get a blood two in return. Cool. So there are benefits to yep. getting yourself poisoned. <laughs> And then I'm going to bandage myself for one because I don't want to go in there on my last. I want to go off of this pile oh, on my last action. <laughs> it's a Corey-like card. <laughs> and 
Hmm? Which stack of cards? Yeah. Corey, has, Corey has them because he just ended his yes. turn. Okay. Thank you. I think he just ended his turn. I did. Did? Okay. Back. Oh, you're exploring. Okay. Things are about to get exciting. So grab the next tile, somebody. Give me another card. And oh, Maybe. here we go. Nope. Another card. Go ahead and slide that under there. All right. Abandon the role of red shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we have to run into problems. And left. because you didn't scout, you didn't know you were running straight into some more corruption. And we're sitting tiles with people on. Whee! <laughs> As you do. Your buddies are now far away. Now we collect this. And what else do we do? Um, so did you spin that there. one the wrong way? This oh. one is one more card, Dave. Wrong way. <laughs> wrong way, you don't spin. Uh, yeah, it should be clockwise. One turn clockwise. Yeah, this the, I think it, yes. yeah, I think you spent it counterclockwise. He did. Yeah. That puts the enemy closer to Ben. Yay, Ben! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. That that worked out well. Hmm. And one more card, Dave. Jesus. You want to go all out, aren't you? There's a lot of rooms in here. Well, I'm gonna we'll put down a trapper delight for we'll future use. Uh, Only way to check the time. <laughs> are you going to attack these things? I was going to. He has reached 27, by the way. Okay, yeah, we ran late. Like, we thought late, like, so we can run a little yeah. later. All right. And I will bandage myself too, right. because I'm not doing you very well. You need one more card, and then I'm done. You should have stayed there. We healed you. Aww. Mm, planning. It's important. Actually, no, I can't hear you. You're too far. This card really should have like. Mm. Alright. So my bonus action. There's just two two other rulers in there? Yep. That could be deadly. Very deadly. But fuck it. Mm -hmm. And we go. <laughs> <laughs> A bold move. Rolling slice for two blood. If I had range on this last turn, this would have been great. That would have done five damage. Well, instead I did three damage. Three damage AoE? So yeah, it's AoE plus one. Mm. And right. then I punch one of them for one. Well, you get to put your mark on them, each of them. So, how much damage total? Uh, four to one of them and three to the other. Okay. Okay. They'll be dead next turn. And that was two actions? <laughs> was that two actions? Yeah, there'll be another one. That was three. I punched one. Okay. It's the end of another round. The Merchant's Whispers track advances toward your doom. Uh, and Monsters counterattack. I think only Dave okay. is getting counterattacked. Yep. Okay. okay, and I believe that Otherworlders did get a powered up card at some point. That's the white deck. All right, let's start this out. Mental Ravaging. Hmm. Oh, that's and... the powered up card. <laughs> <laughs> the other incomprehensible mind reaches out and touches you, sucking four damage out of you and healing the monster that it mounts. Fuck. It's sucking damage out of you. <laughs> It's, it's sucking out the damage, your health goes up. Reduce all, all damage dealt to one at the start. Nice. Mm -hmm. So it heals one. Not punch, it just healed it. All right. <laughs> and then one more, right? Both at four. Oh, right, that took one damage. When you explored that new tile, uh -huh. your exploration token that you need is on there. <laughs> Actually, I think MJ is the one that needs it. Oh, sorry, MJ, you okay. have one. Okay, MJ I have is the one. that needs this one. This one doesn't have any effects. I have no okay. cards in front of me, so this is basically just a two damage. And the Foul Master and Foul Pet got the perfume, perfume Foulness card into the Abomination deck. So Abominations got a little scarier. Yay. Uh, 
We actually also still need to draw a condition card for this pile. That's oh, excellent oh, yeah. point as well. You got infesting influence of the mind's desires. Oh boy, when a player gains corruption from this tile, they draw an additional corruption. That's ben. amazing. <laughs> I said Ben, red shirt. <laughs> I am winning. <laughs> and also, <laughs> abominations do double damage. Oh, good. So the so, abominations on this tile are really scary. Uh, here we go. Put that next to the abomination symbol there. I don't like the tile that. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Funny that. There are also two beasts. beasts. Okay. Uh, beast. Alright. Time for me to scar down three cards and draw the city. Uh, did you get your attacks? You did. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm alive still. Yep, new round. Really. <laughs> Go right ahead with the new round. Alright, one, two. Shut that. And of course, MJ has the first player token now. Which is a fist because that's the token that I stole from the other game. <laughs> An abomination there. And for the two beasts. <laughs> a scary proposition when the tile stack is so low. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, this could be fun. With this character on that tile take four damage, is that enemies or just like characters? characters. Does it say en what does it say? It says characters on that tile and take four damage. Enemies and allies. Everyone Amazing. takes four damage. Okay. Uh, interesting. To include yourself. Also, yes. can use another marker for... Oh, that one got destroyed, yes. Okay. It's going to be interesting. This is a good one. So I think I can trade places with Dave. <laughs> one, put up Macabre Fountain. Oh, that's another ritual card. Yeah. And two Blood, because that doesn't take, does that take action? That's not an action card, right? Macabre so can, Fountain? No, that is, but adding Blood to the pile. No, I don't think so, but I think you add Blood when you kill monsters to that pile. Yes. Okay. Whereas Macabre Fountain gets paid into. Right. At the start. But see, I can use any of those blood cards to the Macabre Fountain, right? Yes. That's what it says. Yes, you can. Exactly. So my, he was my thinking. Oh, I see. He's trading back and forth between blood banks now. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. <laughs> Tell me what I'm thinking about this. And then I would put this up. The end of that second turn, four points of damage would go to that. I would take four points from here. Then my next turn, bandage myself and then put another four points of damage, uh, killing both creatures, using all my blood, and kicking ass. Sounds pretty amazing. Right? <laughs> I, I think, think I got it right. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so. <laughs> Trading places with Dave. Dave. Then putting down the fountain, which says at the end of the turn, take four blood. So he goes bye bye. Then bandage myself. Well, that actually pays into your stance. All right. As well, when you kill him. Keep right. Right. <laughs> right. And then another four points. And it also gives points to Dave because he marks that guy. Oh, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then if you want it, Dave. Dave oh, Dave also pays. Nice. <laughs> and then another four points to kill the other dude, which then also puts 
too bad. Right. Correct? And, and the same goes for Dave. And the same goes for Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I love those cards. <laughs> when I saw that card, I'm like, I want that card. That's a good card. I like that card. So, yeah. Macabre Thompson. Yeah. <laughs> Might be a little OP, guys. At least in this situation. All right, that's done. That's done. Those are used. Those are. Um, so, I assume Macabre Thompson goes away or doesn't go away? Uh, once you empty it, it goes away. Right. But it's not, is it this considered empty now because it was using that blood bank? Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I had to check. Okay. Groovy. I'm done. Okay. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, we need to destroy that. Oh, bandage. Sorry. Bandage. 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 Okay. Uh, See, Corey, you're not the only destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a healer. Yes. Okay. Um, the healer would be so powerful. That was cool. I could recommend that making was tiles. Wow. That was like, cool. I'd recommend making a tile before my turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we will attempt well, it. remember, there's only one tile left in the stack, which you can see. Yeah. So. We can go there anytime we want. And it's my turn. So. I've literally got nothing else to do except go there. Don't go this direction. Then I'll like move everything. That's yeah. literally <laughs> the only place that I can go. Go like that's here, not true. Here, here. Here. No, you can't. No, um, that, that, from it's that true. space, the only thing I can go is that direction. Keep going. Oh, because you spun the tile in such yes. a way yeah. that you ended up over there. Keep going, yeah. Corey. Keep wow. Going. So <laughs> it's amazing. That's Run what I'm gonna have to do. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. Yeah, this is gonna. This brings up a point on how we have to redesign the tiles, the tiles. with the constant spinning. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. basically, he would have to have somebody come bail him out. Otherwise, yeah. table conquest. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out. Da -da -da. Yeah. There I, it is. Yep. Is that the right direction? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, this place hey. is a little scarier than it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Things have changed, Corey. Yes. So, you're going to draw a condition as well. Nice. All right. Elementals gain an armor token, which is activated as soon as the monster is damaged. And beasts get plus two HP. Okay. The crawling skin of lost murderers. So what just happened is, Corey just explored onto the final pile. Where, uh, which is the lair of the eternal adversary. And uh, this is a pretty good place to stop once we get it going because everyone is going to be pulled to the eternal adversary. So, whoosh, these are disappearing. Dave, I, I successfully left the pile. Yeah, well done. <laughs> <laughs> yes, unfortunately now this means I don't know how this person is ever going to use it. <laughs> oh, you can still use it. It's just going to damage everyone. <laughs> I, guess I, have um, I hope you have a lot of corruption. And uh, uh, so everyone's going to get pulled to the eternal adversary. Okay, grab everyone. So grab everyone. Go ahead and stick them there. And uh, very importantly, we are now going to reveal corruption. So we're not going to end the stream before we do that stuff. I think I think after revealing corruption would be a good oh, place. Yeah, we'll do it first. So. so whoever is the most corrupted. Oh, we know who that is. <laughs> yeah. Well, mm -hmm. Two. I've got two. I know it's not me. I've got one, two, six. Ben. Success. I win at this game a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now. Uh, who's the least corrupted? Dave and I. Or Todd. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. You guys are going to roll off for one of the legendary treasures that you are seeking in the depths. I kind of hope I lose it because I'm at like no HP, so it's <laughs> probably the first to die. <laughs> Khaled Bolg. <clears throat> but, uh,. High or low? High, high, high. <laughs> Just making sure. Uh, so yes, you have won Kaladbolg, which perhaps can help you defeat 
Ben, who has become a servant of the depths through being too corrupted. So... How corrupted is that? What? That's true. <laughs> so, Ben will... So next time, Ben will get a number of uh, special servant of the depths cards in his deck, which are all extremely powerful. He'll get a bunch of bonus HP, and then he will duke it out with the other Delvers, having become a gribbly, uh, betentacled thing of madness and horror. It's us. <laughs> just like him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that seems like a good, pretty good place to stop. Yep. For tonight. And get back to crunching. Yes. Do I get to finish my turn? Oh, wait, you didn't finish your turn. You didn't finish I your only, turn. I only did one oh. action. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you get to finish your turn. Okay. <laughs> then I'm going to play a ritual, River of Pain, to do eight damage divided it by two. And I'm going to do all, similar, all eight of it to this. Uh, Other world creature that you just walked into? Yep. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to kill it. And You're going to destroy the problem immediately. Yes. <laughs> and, and then I'm uh, going to bandage myself for one. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, well, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed another round. And I'm going to come over and turn off the stream now. <laughs> Good night. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Dulop says, Yay, Ben. <laughs> <laughs>